The Nuggets take it on the Raptors. For Denver, they know each game is a test of their physical endurance and mental focus. Another challenge lies ahead. Raptors, Nuggets, it's next, right after this. Happy Monday, everyone. This evening, we bring you the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, and the fourth member of our crew, reporter Allie LaForce. Here's a look at the schedule for Denver. On Wednesday, they'll host the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then on Friday, they'll be matching up with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. And for their matchup with the Pelicans, that's a contest that I'm keeping my eyes on. Early on, you love to see games like that one. Should be a game full of interesting matchups. So let's take a look at the starters for Toronto. And at forward, it'll be Barnes and Olenek. Quickly and Barrett, they're the backcourt duo. And it's Pirtle in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Denver, Porter Jr. and Gordon make up the forwards. Pairing up in the backcourt, Murray and Brown. And it's Jokic in at the five. You know, on paper, this looks like a lopsided matchup, but anything could happen in the NBA, Grant. <laughs> yeah, that is the truth. I mean, that's why they play the games. One guy gets hot, a team gets cold. That's all it takes to swing the entire outcome of a game. Now here's Jokic. Outside for Porter. No good on the triple. It's Barnes on the wing. He's guarded by Porter. Barnes passes to Barrett. Back to Barnes. Five to shoot. No good on the shot. Great D that time from Porter. Now let's send it over to Ali LaForce, who was able to talk with Michael Malone. And he had nothing but praise for Scotty Barnes on the other side. He said Barnes poses so many problems because of his versatility. He can play multiple positions. He's unselfish. He's got great speed for his size. He had a lot of good things to say. Clearly, Barnes has a big fan here. Allie, thank you. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And that sends Jamal Murray to the free throw line. That's on Jakob Pertl. Well, Grant, when you think of Jamal Murray and all he's been through, health is of utmost importance for him. Oh, extremely important, B.A., because when Murray is healthy, he's a lethal player and a huge part of this team's success. Free throw drops from Murray. Grant, the Denver Nuggets have been on quite the run here in this window of time. Yeah, B.A., it's all working for Denver in recent years. This is a well-constructed team that they play as a unit, and it makes it so difficult to try to get the best of them. You know, Grant, an underrated area of improvement for Scotty Barnes has been his defense. You're spot on, B.A. I mean, we've seen an elevated intensity from him on that end finding more denials, attacking the ball, really proving himself as an effective stopper. That free throw, no good. And how about Scotty Barnes, Doris? Named an All-Star during his third season in 2024. And in fact, the third youngest All-Star that year. Listen, he has upgraded his playmaking. He's still getting better, and I think that's the scary part for the rest of the league. He hits the second from the line. Something this Raptors team does very well is move the ball doors. Yeah, B.A., this is an unselfish group of guys. They like moving the basketball, getting everybody involved. Amazing when a team has everybody touch it, how good it feels. He is just an excellent pick-and-roll option. Jokic always uses his high basketball IQ to find and execute the right play. Murray against quickly to the middle. Here's Olenek. Gordon pulls it in. Three straight misses to begin the game. Not the start they were hoping for. Here's Murray. 
Pass to Brown. On the wing, Porter. Gordon against Olenek. Gordon can't hit. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. Here's quickly. No good there. Good D by Jokic. A very sluggish start on offense. Four attempts with nothing to show for. It's stolen by Barnes. And now the Raptors on the break. Here's quickly. Finished off the break. A huge sigh of relief. One for five now. Let's see if they can keep it going. For Denver, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Murray passes to Jokic. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. It's almost too easy for Jokic inside. His size and soft touch make short work of the shot. And the dunk by Pirtle. He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. Toronto shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Misses for Pirtle. After their title in 2019, the Raptors have struggled to stay among the league's elite stores. Well, think about it, PA. The driver of that title success was Kawhi Leonard and Kyle Lowry. Both of those players are gone. Very hard to replace players of that caliber. Almost inevitable they were going to take a step back. Outside Barrett. shot is good and this game is back to even boy you talk about a gifted finisher rj barrett soft touch on the interior and here's murray we saw him with 19 his last time out gordon down low working on barnes gordon can't hit and Barnes has got the ball here for Toronto. Barrett passes to Pirtle. A chance there to take the lead, but a miss. The Nuggets have gone just three for seven here at the start. And Gordon with the big finish. Well, you have to admire the strength of Aaron Gordon. This guy is adept at finding his way through intense defense. And Darko Ryakovich has called a timeout. He'll take the opportunity to regroup. And with this pause, a check on the stats to show you which teams led the league in assists last year. In third, the Nuggets. And if you have to ask, what's the name of the game? Well, it's all about ball movement for them. They love to share the rock. And we all know that assists are a great indicator of how well the team is executing. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. Outside Barrett. Back to quickly. Down low. Here's Barnes. Deflected! And Porter Jr.'s teammates and coaches love when he hustles. When he does, he makes an impact on D. Clock at four. Second shot opportunity. Barrett can't hit. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. And stolen by Barrett. Quickly outside. Pirtle with a screen on Murray. Quickly deciding where to go with it. Here's Pirtle. And there's two. Work on the glass. Paying off that time. Pirtle's gotten his second bucket on the night. This team loves it when Pirtle can make an impact on the offensive glass. There's a lot of ways he can get his points, but this is an easy one. Now here's Jokic. 15 in his last outing. Pass to Porter. Back to Jokic. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And while Nikola Jokic has lots of years left in this league, 
He's already an all-time great, Grant. You know, B.A., not many guys have won multiple MVPs and a title, but Jokic has already accomplished so much. And with his size and skill set, Jokic can be elite for a long time and add to that impressive resume. And he drops a first. For NBA fans, early season games are so entertaining to watch, Grant. What's your favorite part of the early goings? You know, B.A., take your pick. Rookie development, team chemistry building. Plus, you wait all offseason to see how your team measures up. And now, we get to find out. Boucher's checked in for Toronto. And Jokic drops them both. And what you love about this Denver offense, Grant, by and large, they take good shots. Oh, they do. Top five in field goal percentage over the last five seasons. And a lot of that is Jokic delivering the ball to the right guy at the right time. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Brown passes to Murray. Now Jokic. Here's Brown, guarded by Barrett. Back to Jokic. Murray looking around. Rebound Toronto. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. And it's not the result they were hoping for. But every game is a chance to learn and make adjustments. Yeah, I mean, listen, it hurts a little more when you play well and fail to close out a game. That was one they should have won. Now here's Murray. Pass to Jokic. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. Down in the paint, Jokic knows how to take charge, getting past the D and to a look. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And Darko Ryakovic has called a timeout. A moment to rest and confer on the game plan. Nuggets making a change here. Westbrook's checked in, and Toronto also making a switch. Brown, he's checked in for Olenek. On defense, the Nuggets. Four-point game. Off by Boucher. He's got a nose for the basketball and a high level of activity around the rim. Go ahead and finish, Mr. Boucher. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for Denver, defeated by Utah in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, it was a tough one to watch. There were some bright moments, but ultimately their mistakes caught up with them. To be perfectly frank with you, I'm surprised it was as close as it was. I thought they were outclassed all night. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Pass to Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. Puts up a deep three. And it's Denver with a rebound. Last time they met in Toronto, where they beat the Raptors. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. Well, give them some credit for taking advantage of a weak defense and capitalizing on every mistake. Oh, man. I mean, the passing from Jokic is off the charts. Gave his man just a great look. Raptors trail by four. Outside, Brown. They set a pick. He's now one for two with that bucket. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. For Denver, they've got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. To the inside. Here's Porter. Some solid defense from Barrett. Toronto has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. 
Here's Barnes. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. You like to see Scotty Barnes aggressive on the slash. This guy takes the initiative on the drive. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Denver? Well, hey, guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision? And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. And the first one at the line is good. Well, you think about Scotty Barnes, the 2022 Rookie of the Year, guys. 6'9", long, could do many things, and honestly, a ton of growth left. It's tied up with that one. Well, Grant, the Raptors are in the middle of a rebuild and are looking to establish an identity here. Yeah, they've got some solid young pieces, specifically Scotty Barnes. They just need more experience and some time in order to learn what it takes to win at this level. Now here's Porter. He had a 27-point outing in their last game against Utah. <laughs> and he really dominated, working hard to control the glass. R.J. Barrett's instincts make him dangerous in transition. Nicely done. Here's Murray. Jokic with a screen on quickly. Murray passes to Jokic. Outside Porter. Outside Murray. Clock at six. The Nuggets need to get one up. And Porter hits from deep. And the Nuggets lead by one. Catch and release. Porter Jr. is so quick. Tough to close out on. Porter with the steal. Back come the Nuggets on the run. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. The Nuggets really believe in Jamal Murray. Coach Michael Malone said, what I want from Jamal is to be himself. If he does that, all the other stuff will take care of itself. But I want him to challenge himself to be a leader and to do the things every day that got him to this point. Well, Murray will always put in the work. We know that. Good stuff, Allie. First free throw is good. An exceptionally skilled player. You hope Michael Porter Jr. stays healthy. I mean, his potential is limitless. Abaji's checked in for Toronto. Dick comes in for Barrett. Porter hits them both. Raptors trail by three. Pass to Abaji. The three from quickly. Rebounded by Denver. Jokic has got rebound number five here tonight. This guy cannot get started, and the offense overall has been a struggle because of it. Inside. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got four assists now tonight. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Now here's Quickly. He's coming off a 10-point game against Sacramento. Outside Dick to end the run. And there's the foul. It's on Chris Boucher. That's his first foul. And timeout is called by Michael Malone. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. A different look for Denver. Jordan's checked in for Nikola Jokic. And Dario Saric is subbed in for Gordon. And Toronto also making a switch. Olenek's checked in. The Nuggets lead by five. Pass to Saric. Here's Porter. Yep, that one goes. Porter's got seven. Smart play there by Porter. 
working his way inside to find a reliable, close-range look. And so quickly, we'll bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Good. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Denver has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Pass to Sharich. Now here's Porter. Here's the three. Add that to his line. Now three for six. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. There's a minute 26 left to play in the first. Murray against quickly. The three. Pure from three-point range. Quickly's gotten his second bucket. And quickly with a big-time answer knocks down his own three. Murray passes to Jordan. Back to Murray. Westbrook against Brown. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It goes on Chris Boucher. Doris, think about Russell Westbrook's career. All-time NBA leader in triple doubles. NBA, there is so much to admire about Russell Westbrook, but I'm going to begin with something that I think is undervalued, and that's his willingness as a great player to play hard every single night on both ends of the floor. Tough, competitive, and skilled. He's a Hall of Famer. And that one misses. What we know unequivocally is the best players being your hardest workers, the guys who want to be held accountable, make such an impact on your program, and that is Russell Westbrook to a T. Toronto making a switch here. Barnes is checked in. And he sinks the second. Perhaps the thing I will remember most when Russell Westbrook decides his career is done is how he brought competitive fire and spirit every single night, guys. Now here's Brown. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. Here's Dick. That one no good. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Pass to Porter. To the paint. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Boy, it really helps when Dario Saric is aggressive like this. The guy makes the defender commit and nicely done offensively. These are his first free throws of the game. He's off on the first. When you think about it, they're trailing in part because they're giving away too many trips to the charity strike. And he's good on the second. You know, I think the versatility Sharich provides is big in today's NBA. This guy can play the three and the four. He can shoot from anywhere. He can also hit the glass. Very good passer. There's a lot to his game. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Porter from outside. They get it again. Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Michael Porter. He's been the guy making things happen for the Denver Nuggets. He put together 10 points in the quarter. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this.
And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And from what you've seen from the Nuggets, what's your take so far? Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. I'll tell you, that willingness to make the extra pass, that is what creates good looks. It also forces the defense to scramble. Raptors trail by nine. They've got DeAndre Jordan, Michael Porter out there with Dario Saric. Then it's Peyton Watson, and it's Westbrook in at the one. That's the group for Denver getting going in the second. Pass to Boucher. Three-pointer. No good. And the Nuggets shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. Watson passes to Saric. Brown with the steal. Dick with it. Now Porter defending. Now Barnes. Watson with a rebound. Brown against Westbrook. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. And Brown has got the ball here for the Raptors. They trail by 11. When this one's in the books, they'll be off to Sacramento, taking on the Kings. That'll be just the second road game of five in a row. Pass to Dick. Five on the clock. Rebounded by Denver. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And not going to go. He misses his first attempt of the night. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Barnes. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got his fourth rebound in this one. Still looking for his first make. And they could really use the help right now. Pass to Jordan. And here's Watson. From about 16... And that one drops. Watson's got his first bucket in this one. Yeah, for a big man, DeAndre Jordan has such soft touch on his passes. And timeout called by Darko Ryakovich. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. Browns checked in for Watson. Squads that love to run. Last year's team leaders in fast break points. Number one, the Raptors. If this team had a chance to push it last season, they did. The best fast break team in the league. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. And it's Dick off the drive. It's hauled in by Sharich. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Westbrook taking his time here. And there's the lob. And stolen by Brown. Barnes with it. Now Porter defending. Barnes passes to Dick. It's good. That's a nice read from Scotty Barnes. This guy understands how and when to deliver the basketball. Second quarter play. Almost three minutes gone here. Westbrook against Brown. Westbrook outside. 
And here's Porter outside. And the three-pointer goes. Porter's got 13 now. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Outside, Olenek takes a three. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. Olenek giving the defense no time to react. Quick catch and shoot. Now here's Westbrook. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes play. Pass to Jordan. Back to Westbrook. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Unbelievable. He blew that. Look, guys. No clue what went wrong there. Here's Boucher for three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Sharich has got four rebounds now. Now here's Westbrook. Defense right on him. Pass to Brown. Shakes him. Driving inside. Jams it in off a great move. Well, the defense always so attentive to Russ, and he knows, okay, you're going to send defensive attention my way. I will find an open teammate. Raptors trail by 13. Barnes feeling it out a bit. Up top, Dick. Here's Boucher. Dennis Jordan with the rebound. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Here's Brown. 23 points for him last game against Utah. Jordan finds Porter. Here's Brown. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. And the Nuggets lead by 15. When you look back at the history of the league, Doris, no position has evolved more than the center. You know, B.A., that's a tremendous point because you look at some of the best players in the league, they occupy the five spot. They're asked to do so much. Defensively, protect the rim. Be able to switch out and guard smaller players on the perimeter. Now you're being asked to be able to make shots from three. I mean, the big man's got a lot of responsibility in today's game. Outside, Brown. Six to shoot. Boucher a screen on Westbrook. Here's Brown. And the Raptors miss again. Denver leading by 15. Here's Porter. And another basket for Denver. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Boucher a screen on Westbrook. Here's Brown. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. I'll tell you guys, sometimes it feels like Bruce Brown prefers to score through contact. He loves those kinds of challenges. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. A different look for Denver. Jokic comes in for Jordan. And Murray subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Jakob Pertl, he's checked in for Toronto. Abaji comes in for Olenek. throw good Brown what you love about Bruce Brown guys is how special his work ethic is this guy defensively has been on point but to stay on the floor he's really developed offensively back to Murray nice D from Brown Raptors trail by 14 here's Abaji and he can't get that one Sharage with some nice D. Murray with it. Now guarded by Brown. Brown passes to Murray. Three-pointer, no good. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. The Raptors are still developing. Coach Darko Ryakovich said, we're focusing on offensive execution and player development. It's about what we need to do night in and night out, regardless of the opponent. As we grow, we'll teach more schemes for opponent preparation. B.A. step by step. Yeah, it's a process, Allie. Thank you. Jokic with a screen on Brown. Here's Murray. Hits it. Now two of six from the field. We've seen Murray raise his game. Part of it is an increase in toughness. The ability to score when it's not simple. 
Barnes with it. 17 points in his last outing. Pass to Brown. On the wing, Grady Dick. From outside, off the mark. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Sharich, a screen on Pirtle. Now here's Sharich. And here's Jokic, defended by Brown. Murray from outside. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got three assists now in this one. Barnes against Porter. Barnes passes to Dick. Drops in the layup for two. Dick's got four points this quarter. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. And it's Murray with the ball for the Nuggets. Sharich, a screen on Brown. Here's Murray. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got rebound number five here tonight. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Brown passes to Abaji. Hits the trifecta. Abaji's got his second bucket of the night. Well, you love the unselfishness of Bruce Brown. This is really a developed part of his game. His passing is on point now. Here's Murray. Give him eight points now. Out left to the wing. Here's Brown. Pirtle grabs a miss. Pirtle's got four rebounds in the game. And Grady Dick gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. And so it's Michael Malone here calling timeout. He's going to talk it over with his guys. John Chars checked in for the Nuggets. Watson comes in for Michael Porter. Here's Murray. Pass to Jokic. Over Pirtle. Oh, a great move by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got 12 points in the game. And, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Screen by Olenek. Here's Barrett. Chanchar with a rebound. Denver leading by 14. Watson passes to Brown. To the inside. Here's Murray. Toronto grabs the miss. Myrtle's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Barrett. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It goes on Peyton Watson. Boy, look at how confident R.J. Barrett is on the interior, right in his sweet spot. And one thing we've seen from R.J. Barrett... He likes playing in a system where they move the ball, Doris. And he likes B.A. when that ball moves in his direction. R.J. Barrett is a thirsty scorer. He can go off the bounce. He's working really hard to shore up that perimeter game. He has got a tremendous future. Doris, with the latest collective bargaining agreement, teams have to be more strategic with their spending. They do, Brian, and I think this speaks to the league's desire to make sure there's competitiveness across all of the teams in the league. There are now harsh penalties in place for teams that go over the luxury tax. So star players in their 30s or players with injury concerns aren't necessarily guaranteed max contracts in the future. You're going to see a lot more negotiations and smart decision making. Jokic passes to Brown. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Jokic has got his fourth assist in this one. Raptors trail by 14. Outside Olenek. Back to quickly. Shot clock at six. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Quickly's gotten his third basket of the night. 
That's about activity, determination, quickly finishing strong. Here's Murray. Give him eight. Pass to Jokic from behind the arc. Doesn't fall. That miss makes him five for six. Down low. Here's Pirtle. Oh, he missed the layup. He had him with the pump fake. Here's Brown. Guarded by Barrett. And stolen by Barrett. Here comes Toronto on the push. There's a minute 34 left in the second quarter. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Denver. 17 points was their biggest margin. On the wing, Murray. Guarded by Quickly. And again, it's Denver missing. Yeah, and they've taken their foot off the gas a little. They were much more aggressive to start the game and really getting their opponent in early foul trouble. On the take. That one falls. Quickly's got nine. This second quarter, he's been much better, improving over that slow start. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for Denver. Ten-point lead. Tries to spin move. Pass to Jokic. In the paint. Jokic going off. He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. Quickly, outside. Barrett with it. The three ball. Knocks down the triple. Barrett's got five points now this quarter. Well, you have to understand, spacing is provided when you can make threes. R.J. Barrett delivers. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Murray passes to Jokic. Jokic with a screen on Barrett. The drive by Watson. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Barrett finds Barnes. With one on the clock. And that's not going to go. Misses at the buzzer. And we've reached halftime in this one. The Nuggets on top, up by 11. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks very much. I'm here with Mike Malone and Coach. Evaluate this team's execution offensively for me. Well, I think we're at our best when we can get out and run, but also play downhill. It's a simple game for us. When we defend, that gets us out to run. Now we can play downhill, attack, and share the ball. That's when we're at our best. Keep it simple. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. Thanks for being with us, and let's get straight into it with the Players of the Week. Looking at the East, Jimmy Butler. Man, Butler's on one tonight. It's like he's in the Jimmy Buckets mode. Been in overdrive. Incredible consistency as of late. Should it say Jimmy Buckets on the award? Can we have that changed? Now looking at where we stand after two quarters, it has been a difficult game for the Raptors. I get trying to play fast and loose, but if you're too loose with the shot selection, you'll end up wasting possessions. Yeah, and if you're going to keep taking threes, might as well move to Jacksonville. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. One of the stories here, Michael Porter getting it done today. 
Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for them. And then, of course, executing. And one of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. Checking out the group for Darko Ryakovich to start the second half. Barrett and Barnes at the two and three. The big men for him. Olenek and Pirtle. And it's quickly in at the one. Yep, that one's good. Barnes has got five points. And this is how you finish inside. Barnes, I mean, he doesn't fear anyone close to the rim. The Nuggets lead by nine. Pass to Gordon. Inside. And then Porter with the dunk. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Now Barrett. Olenek with the ball. Now here's quickly. Defended by Murray. From 12 feet. And he gets it to go off the front iron. He's got 11. Yeah, sometimes you have to flex into the mid-range. Emmanuel quickly ready to do just that. Pass to Gordon. And if you're just joining us, we played just over a minute here in the third. Back to Murray. Six on the shot clock. Now Gordon. Guarded by quickly. Gordon can't hit. Raptors trail by nine. Outside Barnes. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Brown. And the layup falls. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. And Darko Ryakovic has called a timeout. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page. And a moment to check out the 2K leaderboard. Here were the best rebounders last season. Fourth, Nikola Jokic. Simply put, he was terrific down low last year, owning the glass. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. Quickly passes to Pirtle. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It was dealing with the NBA's physical play that was Pirtle's biggest challenge when he came into the league. But he knows how to use his body now to get these calls. And he makes a first. Well, Jakob Pirtle, guys, may not be a stretch big, but what he does well is virtually everything else. He boards it. He plays incredible D, and he's a very good passer. And he can't hit the second. Denver leading by 10. Murray passes to Brown. Porter with a screen on Barrett. Outside Porter. Let's go with a three. Rebound Toronto. Pirtle's got six rebounds now in the game. Raptors trail by ten. Barnes passes to Quickly. And here's Olenek. Pass to Pirtle. Outside Barrett. Murray against Barnes. Boy, you love Barnes being assertive on offense. He forces the defense to foul him there. He's made three or four free throw attempts in this game. Free throw misses. And the second free throw is good. 
Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Jokic with a screen on quickly. Pass to Jokic. Outside Porter. Here's Murray. Pirtle with the block. Active defense from Jakob Pirtle. That's the key. When he stays active and alert, blocks are going to be there for him. To the middle. Tries again. And he sinks the layup. Pirtle's got his third basket on the night right there. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Jokic, no good. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Barrett passes to quickly. Porter with the steal. Jumps up. Oh, now that's how you finish a break. Throw it down with force. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Back to quickly. Pirtle with a screen on Murray to the paint. And the dunk by Pirtle. A uh, solid IQ play right there from Emmanuel quickly. And it's Murray with the ball for Denver. 17 points was their biggest margin. And during the first few seasons of Emmanuel Quickly's career, he was seen primarily as a scorer, Greg. Yes, but recently has blossomed into a more versatile threat. The leap we've seen in his passing has been especially impressive. He's a player to watch out for moving forward. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. And now the Raptors on the break. The three from Quickly. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. Barnes has got six assists here tonight. Well, quickly, boy, getting an opportunistic corner three-point shot, and he takes it. Denver leading by four. Outside Murray. Pass to Gordon. Now here's Porter. Six to shoot. A little mid-range shot is up. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Barnes has got rebound number eight now. Yeah, they've been pretty careless so far, racking up a number of fouls in very little time. Outside Olenek. Pirtle, the pass to Olenek. Back to Pirtle. Shot clock at six. The three, Barrett. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Brown. He's guarded by Barnes. Here's Jokic. No stopping Jokic in the paint. And this is what makes Jokic an MVP caliber talent. His ability to dominate the defense. Raptors trail by six. Down low. And Pirtle gets it to go on the assist by Quickly. Quickly's got assist number five here tonight. And timeout is called by Michael Malone. We might see him looking to make some tweaks to the strategy here. Denver leading by four. Outside Murray. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's going to go on Kelly Olenek. 
You know, I just love the moxie Murray has to his game. He's so fast and supremely confident. Knocks down the first one. And Murray drops them both. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Outside Olenek. Pass to Pirtle. Outside Barrett. From the arc. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Oh, love the intensity once they're hitting the boards. Gordon, the pass to Murray. Left side Porter. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Here's quickly. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got eight rebounds in the game. Murray against quickly. Pass to Porter. The three. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got his fifth assist in this one. Knocks that one down. Four triples for the night. Three in the first half. Raptors trail by nine. Throws it up high. Nice catch and finish on the lob. Oh, man, take a look at that one. Just a textbook alley-oop. Beautifully done. He served it up on a platter. Here's Murray. He's got 10. Pass to Brown. Gordon with it. Guarded by Olenek. Gordon, the pass to Brown. Clock at 6. Back to Gordon. Launches a 3. And another 3 for Denver. Wow, burying that jumper on a more consistent basis. Aaron Gordon superb at realizing when to pull the trigger. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Quickly with the ball. And stolen by Murray. Fast break. Here come the Nuggets. Here's Gordon. Oh, okay then. Well, easy to see why Aaron Gordon has been in multiple dunk contests. The arsenal, the creativity, limitless. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And so here is Toronto. A 12-point game. Hurdle with a screen on Porter. Barnes against Porter. Quickly, outside. Shot clock at six. To the inside. Hurdle. Quickly finds Pirtle. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Hey, whatever coach told him during the break is beginning to pay off. Quickly against Murray. Inside. Jokic passes to Murray. And the three off target. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Pirtle with a screen on Murray. To the paint. Second chance effort. The shot by Pirtle, no good. Denver leading by 10. Gordon with it. Guarded by Olenek. Shot is good by Gordon. Gordon's got seven points for the quarter. Quick instincts from the savvy big man. Aaron Gordon getting his shot off under duress. Nice. And here's quickly. He'll bring it up for Toronto. Pass to Barrett. Here's Pirtle. Up again. That shot is off. And here's Denver. They're on a 14-6 run. Looking to get it going. And 
and it's Murray finishing it off. Oh, explosive move. Sometimes Murray doesn't get enough credit for his athleticism. Quickly passes to Barnes. It's Barrett on the wing. Nine points in the game. Down low. Here's Quickly. Book it again. Seven for 12 and going at the defense. Emmanuel Quickly in a rhythm right now, and he is absolutely a tough cover. On the wing, Murray, guarded by Quickly. Here's Jokic. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. All right, some time here to take a look at the 2K leaderboard. Here were the league's top shooting squads from last year. Fourth, the Nuggets. They were so consistent with their shooting. Maybe not lights out, but they played smart and didn't let good looks go to waste. Free throw drops for Jokic. And the skill set that Jokic possesses, arguably the most skilled center to ever play the game. A different look for Denver. Sharich checks in for Gordon. Watson comes in for Brown. And it's Westbrook in for Murray. So Toronto going with almost an entire new group here. Boucher's checked in for Pirtle. Abaji comes in for Olenek. Dick, he's checked in for Scotty Barnes. And it's Brown in for Barrett. Quickly against Westbrook. 152 left in the third quarter. Boucher on the screen. Launches it. Abaji can't hit. Denver leading by 14. Porter with it. And it's Boucher picking him up. Westbrook finds Jokic. Jokic is doubled. Kicks it out to Westbrook. And they get it back. Outside Porter. Three-pointer. Sends it home from three-point land. Porter's got 23. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Raptors trail by 17. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Abaji, the pass to Dick. And he jams it home with authority. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. Quickly against Westbrook. And stolen by Boucher. Here comes Toronto on the push. Throws it down despite a man right in his face. Opportunity here to make it a three-point play. Oh, excellent work in transition. Pushing the ball up the floor like that helps you find easier shots. And he's got his first opportunity at the line here tonight. A different look for Denver. Jordan's checked in for Nikola Jokic. And Brown subbed in for Watson. The Raptors also with a sub. Barnes, he's checked in for Quickly. And that one misses. Another shot. Sharic with some nice D. The Nuggets lead by 13. To the middle. Intercepted! Barnes goes in. Rebounded by Denver. 17 points was their biggest margin. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Westbrook outside. Back to Porter. Tries the nine-footer. Here's Jordan. Off the window. It's good. What about the intensity? Go ahead, Mr. Jordan. We see you working out there. And here's Dick. From deep three-point range. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Denver Nuggets. Up 15 points as this quarter concludes. They've been fantastic pushing the ball. Fast break points, a key to this lead. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere.
And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Pairing up in the backcourt, Murray and Brown. Dario Saric is out there with Peyton Watson. And it's Jordan in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Here's Brown. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Simple. The closer you are to the hoop, the better your chance to score. Now here's Brown. To the inside. Here's Barnes. Rebound by the Nuggets. Sharich has got rebound number eight now. Who poked away. He got him. No doubt that's a foul. And it's going to be a transition take foul. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Denver? I mean, they've been sinking shots from mid-range, and, and they found a gap there in the defense, and they just continue to exploit it. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. Now here's Barnes, defended by Watson. Inside, here's Brown. That's it. Coming off an assist from Barnes. Bruce Brown is never shy on the interior. This guy will attack no matter where he is. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. Here's Brown, guarded by Dick. Pass to Jordan. Down low. They've got numbers. Off with the layup. The Nuggets lead by 14. Here's Murray. It's rebounded by Dick. For Toronto, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Denver has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Pass to Sharich. 4-3. Offensive board. Here's Brown. Guarded by Dick. Six to shoot. Second chance shot. And Murray with the lay-in. They have hit the boards hard this half. Those second chance points are mounting up. And Brown has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. They trail by 14. Here's Abaji. Pass to Dick. Here's Abaji. Sharich covers. Brown grabs the board. The Nuggets lead by 14. Here's Murray. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Brady Dick picks one up. And the intensity Murray plays with is impressive. Excellent work forcing the issue in drawing the contact. Free throw drops from Murray. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. And Murray drops them both. And if you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Outside Barnes. Boucher outside. 
to the paint. And that's up and in. Five for 12 in this game. Tremendous vision from Chris Boucher. He is Smart. making a case for being more involved offensively. And timeout is called by Michael Malone. Coach clearly has something he wants to say to his team right now. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Michael Malone said to the team. And despite the lead, they are still coaching this team hard. In the huddle, they told their guys to stay alert. Do not give them anything easy. They want to protect this late lead, B.A. And Ali, thank you for that. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Outside Murray. He takes it in. Brown. Boy, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Brown's got four points this quarter. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. Here's Barnes. Outside Dick. Six on the shot clock to the middle. Here's Boucher. No luck on that one. Some solid defense from Jordan. Denver leading by 16. Pass to Brown. And here's Sharich. Boy, give Sharich a lot of credit. He attracted the defender's attention because he looked determined to score it. No good on that one. Aaron Gordon's checked in for Denver. And he ends up missing both free throws. Uncharacteristic trip to the line for him. Just lost his feel on those shots. Drops in the three. Dick's got ten points here in the second half. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. The Nuggets have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Murray against Brown. Here's Gordon. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Pass to Abaji. Outside, Brown. Offline with a three. The Nuggets lead by 13. Watson passes to Murray. Sharich a screen on Brown. Murray for three. Connects from downtown. Murray's got seven points for the quarter. And looking to shoot as many threes as possible. This kind of confidence, impressive to see. Here's Barnes. And he banks in the layup. You get the sense Scotty Barnes is very comfortable in the painted area. That's easy work. Denver has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Pass to Murray. There's the triple. Rebound Toronto. Barnes has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. It's hauled in by Sharich. Sharich has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. How about the agility, boy? Gordon knifing his way inside. Finishes with confidence. That's pretty. Raptors trail by 16. Barnes passes to Abaji. To the inside. Here's Boucher. Sharic with some nice D. For Denver, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. On the wing, Murray defended by Brown. 
Murray passes to Gordon. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one on Barnes. Well, I think the things that Aaron Gordon has added to his game, specifically that reliable three-point shot, is a really welcome sign. This guy has an incredible upside. And he can't get the first one. And talking about Gordon, just a freak athlete and ferocious dunker. A valuable role player on this team. A different look for Denver. Jokic is checked in for Sharich. Porter Jr. comes in for Brown. And it's Russell Westbrook in for Jamal Murray. A big group substitution here for Toronto. Jakob Pertl, he's checked in for Boucher. Olenek comes in for Abaji. R.J. Barrett, he's checked in for Dick. And Emmanuel quickly subbed in for Brown. Well, at seven feet, when Pirtle gets rolling, this guy can absolutely overpower you. The Nuggets lead by 14. Here's Westbrook. Jokic with it. Pass to Porter. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Jokic has got five assists tonight. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distances half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Outside Porter. Kicks it out to Westbrook. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Well, this has not been his finest hour. But give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. For the Nuggets, Brown comes in for Watson. And Murray subbed in for Westbrook. Raptors trail by 12. Now quickly. Outside Barrett. Down low. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. That gives him a double-double. You can see how well Scotty Barnes moves on a basketball floor. I mean that north and south, and what hops this young man has. Inside. Jokic in the post. Covered by Pirtle. Jokic, good. Jokic has got 20 points. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. Outside Barnes. To the paint. Here's Pirtle. That's in. Coming off an assist from Barnes. He's shooting well. Doing his best to keep this offense in gear. But he hasn't had a lot of support. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. And here's Murray. Pass to Brown. There's the three. Rebound by the Raptors. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Barnes, it's good. This is a huge part of Scotty Barnes' development. Can he knock down the long ball? Now here's Murray. Gordon with a screen on quickly. Here's Murray. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Free throw drops from Murray. Really getting after the defense since the break. He's so hard to keep off the line when he pushes the action. And Murray drops them both. Here's quickly. A 
outside, Olenek. Back to quickly. Ooh, stolen by Murray. Back come the Nuggets on the run with the seven-footer. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Barrett. Raptors trail by nine. Pass to Barnes. Hurdle with a screen on Porter. The three from Barnes. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. And so Porter will bring it up for Denver. Now Murray. Here's Jokic. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Jokic has got four points now in the quarter. And Jokic doesn't get a lot of lift on his shot. But he doesn't need it. I mean, he is money in the mid-range. Toronto has gone three for five from three-point land time since out, the end out. of the third quarter. And timeout called by Darko Ryakovic. Looking to get everyone dialed in and engaged. Top Barnes. He's guarded by Porter. Barnes, no good. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset and try to get a good shot. Raptors trail by 11. Puts it up from 12. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. For a good offensive player, you've got to take what the defense gives you. RJ does just that. Settles into the mid-range. Murray with it. Pass to Jokic. Quickly against Murray. Back to Jokic. Porter with it. Shot clock at five. Buries it from three. Brown's got seven points for the quarter. The improved passing of Porter Jr. That's the next part of his evolution. Quickly against Murray. The three, Barrett. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Murray passes to Jokic. No stopping Jokic. This is why Jokic is an all-star caliber talent. He has an ability to hit hard, contested shots. One twenty-seven left in the final quarter. Here's Barnes. Well, Doris, with so many franchises, the star player has a lot of sway. Well, it's me, B.A., so much of this speaks to which star are we talking about. If you take someone like Stephen Curry, who historically has welcomed other stars to play alongside him, or has at moments in his career had to elevate young players who maybe have to play through some mistakes. He welcomes both. It depends on the star we're talking about. <laughs> no problems knocking that one down. And the Nuggets lead by 17. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Hurdle, the pass to Barnes. They need this. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Aaron Gordon. You know, certainly we've seen R.J. Barrett productive as a scorer. I think the key for him moving forward is just be as efficient as possible. The first one falls. 
Well, one thing you love about R.J. Barrett is he is a scorer at heart. This guy will hunt shots. He's going to be aggressive. And when he gets on a roll, look out, guys. And he makes both free throws. 32 seconds left in the game. Brown against Westbrook. Jordan with a screen on Brown. And he lobs it up to the rim. Here's Watson. Here's Jordan. Now here's Watson. Tight defense on him. And stolen by Brown. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Jamal, I know you're a competitor. Coming off of a tough loss, what was the mindset coming into this game? Just a hit first mentality. Um, you know, we really need it as a team, and we just want to come here and make them call the first time out and just hit hard. So that's exactly what we did. You were the aggressors from the get-go, and it paid off. Thanks so much, Jamal. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. And as we leave you, here's a look at our player of the game, Nikola Jokic.